Yeah. Yeah, you. For every 10,000 subscribers we get in March, we're giving away one White Octane. Now, we've already gained 10,000 subs already in March, so that means we're guaranteed giving away one White Octane at the end of March. Now, why not subscribe and up your odds and add more White Octanes to the list? Anyway, enjoy this freaking video. It's good. Oh my god, I said freaking. Yo, what's going on guys, Dubobs here, and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Now, in today's video, we're going to revisit an old video of mine, which was best colour combos on Rocket League. But now, I've learned a lot about designing cars, and today I want to show you some of the best colour combinations on Rocket League. Now, bear in mind that colour combinations, you know, they vary a lot. You know, they match different wheels and all sorts, so there's not really a list of all the best colour combos. Realistically, any colour combination can work if it's used with the right item. But today I'm going to talk about some really, really nice color combinations that some of you new players might like to see. So the first one I'm going to show you is quite a try-hard color combination, but you might have seen this in a lot of people's car designs on Rocket League. And it is using a dark blue with a black accent color, and the same goes for red, a dark red with a black. Now, you guys probably have seen this before on many different car designs, and I can show you a bunch of decals that it works with. But basically, yeah, using a dark blue or a dark red or any dark color, really, but mostly those uh, blue and red with a black with certain decals that sort of fade between the two. It makes your car look so clean. It gives it that neutral look. And then you want to just use like basic black wheels like Cristiano's or regular OEMs or black, you know, Daichi's or black any sort of wheels. Um, and it looks really, really nice. Now, at the moment, we've got 20XX there. But let me just show you out of the black markets, like so many of these look good. Bubbly with the blue and black. I can show you the red as well. This is one of the cleanest like color combinations out there. It's dark red and black. I'm not going to lie to you. Heat wave, as you can see, looks super fire with it. Yeah, if you get what I'm saying there. Exalter, the new one looks really good with it. Dissolver. Dissolver's all right, but Dissolver makes it quite bright. Um, Chameleon looks really good with it. Fire God, again, looks really good. One that I really like is Spectre with the red and the black. I do like that. We also have, uh, I mean, Parallax looks all right with it. Magma even looks all right with it. Mainframe looks really good with it. Mainframe has a really nice fade. Um, Stormwatch looks really, really nice with it. But yeah, like I say, so the blue and black and the red and black, make sure you're using dark blues and dark reds. And yeah, it looks really, really nice. I think 20XX is one of the best for this. But again, it doesn't have to be black markets. There's other decals that will work. Um, and if you can get some kind of pearlescent matte sort of paint finish, that might be really good to go with the dark colors to make them fade together. But yeah, that is the first combination for both blue and red team. Make sure you do a black with a dark color. And it looks so, so clean. You would have seen so many sort of pros and tryhards use these car designs, and there's a reason why. They just look too good. So, guys, the other color combination I think looks really, really nice is pink and lime. Now, obviously, there's some decals where these won't work, but if you set your primary color to a pinky color and then your accent to a greeny sort of lime, you can go with the yellow as well, but I think the lime is nicest. And if you have a look at things like dissolver so let me show you again some different black markets we have heat wave looks really really clean with it i really like dissolver with pink and lime that is one of my favorite here it looks super super clean and you can use really flashy wheels if you want or generic wheels um 20xx looks so nice with pink and lime if you don't think this is a good car design i don't know what is um, so let me know in the comments if you think this 20xx pink and green car design looks good because i think it does Bubbly looks all right with it. Bubbly does make the colors a bit murky in the middle, though. But I still think it looks good. Uh, Chameleon pretty much makes it work. Chameleon's a bit of a dodgy one. Um, Hextide doesn't really go with it. Interstellar's Interstellar. I think that's kind of its own thing. Uh, mainframe looks all right. I mean, I'd get a painted mainframe for sure. Riser works really, really well with it. Uh, Stormwatch works really well. But you get the deal. Um, I think Parallax is really nice as well for this. But I think pink and lime is a beautiful color combination. They're just such vibrant colors. So it's a complete contrast from the last one. But as a color combination, these things work really, really well together. And yeah, if you go to the blue team, you can kind of go with like a green and a pink. But I don't think it really works as well because you can't really make it lime. The kind of point of this is that it's lime. 
But we can try and play around with it a bit, make the pink kind of lighter. You can sort of do what you want with that. But yeah, I think the pink and lime on the orange team is really, really nice. Okay, now this one I really, really like. Purple and orange is such an awesome color combination. Now, these two colors complement each other in every way. I don't think it can be denied. I mean, in the real world, purple and orange go together so nicely. So, this is Heatwave that I'm using, and I'm using a light purple with a really, really deep orange. It looks super, super bright. They contrast each other, so the orange pops. It looks perfect. Now, obviously, this will kind of differ depending on what decals you use, but I think no matter what, this combination works. Like, even Hexed looks good with purple and orange which is very, very weird. I mean, let's see what other decals look good. 20XX every day. Look at that. So, so clean. Bubbly, orange and purple. Perfect. Orange and purple cannot be beat. I'm sorry. Dissolver, purple and orange. Perfect. Exalter looks perfect with it. Glorifier, Fire God. I mean, the list will never stop. Interstellar, I, I'm, I'm struggling to see if we can even find a combination with purple and orange that doesn't work. All of these are perfect. Parallax, all oh, that's clean. Any decals that can make bright colors appear on your car as well are perfect. Slipstream looks super clean. Honestly, you know what? Purple and orange is my new main. I'm telling you right now. I love this color combination way too much to like give it up. Okay, purple and orange, definitely my new main. I mean, even, even Tora looks good with it. Trigon looks good with it. Wet Paint looks so clean with it. I mean, everything does. Heatwave's my favorite. Um, or 20XX. Heatwave or 20XX for sure. Uh, this one looks so nice. But yeah, as you can see, purple and orange, the best color combo. Now, if we switch to the orange team, obviously this looks really nasty on Heatwave. But, I mean, if you go to like 20XX with it, Dissolver with it, they'll work but i prefer having the sort of purple as the primary and then have the orange as the accent because basically you want to kind of put the purple down first and then you want to put the orange on top of the purple because it looks better having less orange on a big purple background is way better because orange is the bright color so you want that one to be the one that pops rather than the purple being the sort of dark color if that makes sense i think you guys know what i'm on about i'm kind of waffling i'm not an artist but I, I think I get the gist. So yeah, purple and orange, mwah. Italian kiss, definitely. It's so, so nice. All right, guys. Now this one doesn't work in too many cases, but if you can get a decal which fades between two colors really, really nicely, then blue and red, both dark, looks really good. So as you can see, chameleon is the best black market for this. So what you do is you choose a really dark blue and a really dark red. And as you can see, Sort of in the middle, it gets this sort of purpley color, I guess. But yeah, I really, really like this car design. I've covered it before, and a lot of people really liked it. So using these two colors with Chameleon is awesome. Now, there's not loads of decals this works for. It looks kind of cool with Bubbly, but 20XX also works for this. Um, if it works vice versa as well, it's really nice. So as you can see, 20XX works for both. I think 20XX is one of the best decals in general for, you know, linking colors together. But Interstellar in the blue side also looks really nice with the blue and red. It depends on what kind of car design you're going for. I mean, Tidal Stream looks all right, but these are quite bright sort of black markets. But with any sort of darker black markets like Chameleon, then blue and red is such a cool color combination. And this is the last one, guys. If you want more of these, then let me know because I will make even more. There's loads of color combinations I have up my sleeve and I can show you guys more. But also, let me know in the comments your best color combination because that's the best part about these videos. You can go down and scroll to the comments and you could scroll for hours because I'm sure loads of you have amazing color combinations that you might want to hear about. But what I have for you here is a nice trick. Let's say you didn't get the diamond season reward or the gold season reward, but you really want to have a diamond and a gold car. Well, just select no decal and go and get the anodized paint finish. Then choose a primary color of about this blue right here. I mean, if you want plat, you can do that. I mean, it's really nice. So this is a diamond car design, and it's just anodized with blue. Now, any of you new players probably didn't know about this, so it's really good to include it in the video. I don't want people missing out. These are super shiny, awesome car designs with the use of anodized. But then we also have the classic. I'm bringing it back just so nobody misses out. If you want to make a gold car, which is probably the most requested car on Rocket League, like everybody wants the gold car. 
this is how you do it. You select your primary color as this orange just slightly above the middle one and then you use an anodized paint finish and as you can see you have a beautiful gold car and honestly it kind of looks better without the white octane it looks better just with a regular octane because it makes it stand out nicer but that my friends is the best color combos on rocket league in 2021 now if you think you have better color combos that's where you need to comment down below and tell people and everyone if you read a comment that is an awesome color combo make sure you like it because i want to see who gets the most liked comment so we can really see what the best color combination is out of you guys in the comments but anyway that does it for this video i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye